Hello and welcome to Reroll, my name is Angus Morrison, here today with a review of Alien Rage, published and developed by CI Games and released on the 24th of September 2013. And you can be pretty sure that a game titled Alien Rage is not gunning for a BAFTA, especially when its trailer advertises badass weapons with a straight face. But I'm not here to criticise a game for being mindless fun. Mindless fun is an important category, and a lot more effort goes into making a game mindless fun than people might realise. My aim is to find out whether this is top quality stress relief or something a little more lazy, a cynical attempt to grab cash from the pockets of bored adolescents. Because that is quite clearly the game's target market, the amorphous legion of unpronounceable gamer tags whose major pastimes include hurling rape threats down headsets and perfecting their range of mum jokes. The script is an embarrassing appeal to gaming's lowest common denominator, dude bro humour without a hint of self-parody. The actual plot is less offensive, but only because it should be familiar to anyone who's ever watched the media. Promethium is an energy source capable of sustaining a planet. We want Promethium, aliens want Promethium, the aliens attack, kill the aliens. It's probably our fault, but don't worry about that right now. Kill the aliens. But you don't come to a game called Alien Rage expecting a work of gripping fiction, and the game advertises itself as over-the-top action across 14 levels punctuated by even bigger boss fights. So how does it play? Buggly, I think is the technical term. To start off, and for reasons entirely unknown to me, there is a huge disparity between mouse sensitivity when firing from the hip and when aiming down sights. Bringing the gun up to eye level gives you the same kind of precision you might expect from chasing Red Bull with Ritalin, and this causes slight problems with shooting anything. As a point of reference, my preferred mouse setting for an FPS is around 1200 DPI, and that provided me with nice smooth movement when hip shooting. To give myself any semblance of control while in ADS, however, I had to bring that all the way down to 400 dpi, with the obvious trade-off that normal movement was like wading through soup. To make it worse, I had to adjust this back up every time there was a mech or mounted weapon section with no ADS capability. This is a colossal mistake. A game which is solely, entirely, completely about shooting must have functional gunplay to succeed, and Alien Rage is way off the mark. And that's a pity, because the guns themselves are fine. Obviously it's not battlefield quality gun porn, but there's a certain weight to your spraying and the audio is definitely passable. It's a game that wants to be a fast paced run and gun extravaganza, throwing you down corridor after infested corridor, and there's no shame in that. A dedicated score chasing shoot em up with an array of weapons at your disposal is no bad thing, but the mouse issues prevent it from doing so, demanding more careful shuffling than furious gunslinging. Neither is there any incentive to use more than the two weapons provided to you at the start. Another bug sees your third weapon inexplicably removed at the end of each level. So for the game's duration you should expect to crawl down familiar corridors peeking over copy pasted crates with the same assault rifle, perhaps switching to its alien equivalent when it runs out of ammo. And the bugs aren't limited to the gunplay. For one boss fight in particular, it was impossible to judge the dimensions of your hitbox, taking damage from a hand that landed on the other side of the room. Meanwhile, the boss was busy unleashing missile barrages from a launcher that was destroyed some time ago. More generally, the boss fights feel out of place. Not out of place in the game, but out of place in time, a feature which would have been dated five years ago. Bigger, more bullet absorbent enemies in dedicated arenas which must be tiresomely whittled down in order to progress. In the likely event that you die during one of these, the need to start over, including cinematic, is nothing but frustrating. I'm not complaining about the difficulty, but rather the thankless nature of the task. The need to empty clip after clip into an unresponsive foe in order to receive a numerical score and get back to emptying clips into waves of smaller foes is not an exciting prospect. Worse, it's lazy game design. Graphically, I have to admit I was surprised, not at the hallmark orange and blue FPS paint job, but at how sharp the paintwork actually is. It's to CI's credit that most textures, liquids and distant objects excluded, are crystal clear, which at least gives you something to look at when hiding behind a crate. But for all its clarity, there's no escaping the fact that the art is copy-pasted again and again and again. I wasn't counting on an open world adventure, but the sensation that you're walking down the same corridor gunning down the same enemies you encountered in level 1 is oh so very dull. Overall, Alien Rage has little to recommend it. Had it boasted a compelling arsenal to be used against enemies which tested skill and not patience, and in settings with slightly more diversity than industrial walkways, there might have been enough here to warrant your £15. Rather, we have 14 levels of outdated, bug-ridden gunplay with weapons I would describe as okay, and a script I would describe as never again. Mindless it may be, mindless fun not so much.
My name is Angus Morrison. Thank you very much for watching. As ever, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you liked it, that's great. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Share this video far and wide, and I'll see you soon.